And welcome back. Well, Forever Friends is a very touching story about a dog named Dexter who lives at a humane society searching for his forever boy. Along comes Matt, and the two become fast friends. Dexter and Matt both have hearing loss, something both the author and illustrator know something about in real life. Allison Schley wrote Forever Friends, and Colin Richter did the artwork. Hey, guys. Thanks for being Hi. here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Why don't you tell us about the book? Sure. I um, wanted to create a situation where there's a deaf dog in the Humane Society, and he's looking for a friend, but nobody wants to adopt him because he's deaf, and everybody says he's bad. And then there's a boy named Matt, and he has hearing loss, and no one wants to be his friend because he's deaf. So, of course, um, on his birthday, he's able to get a dog, and he comes to the Humane Society, and he falls in love with that dog. And together, they just bond really closely, and they start a great friendship together. Aww. Sounds like a sweet story. Thank yeah. You. What is, now, you taught um, deaf children for over 20 years. Is that, right. is that what prompted you to write a story about this disability? Right. So a lot of my students feel like they don't have characters to relate to in the books that they read, and so I wanted to give them someone to relate to in the books. And then I also feel like kids without hearing loss don't always necessarily relate to my students with hearing loss. So I wanted to have them have some characters that are cool and fun and do everything just like hearing kids so that the kids with hearing realize that it's okay to be deaf as well. Mm -hmm. And you said the main thing about hearing loss, and it's important to know with, with children, is that there's a, there's a communication there, whether it be speaking or right. sign language. Communication and connection is the key. Right, right. So we created some signs in the book so some kids could learn signing. And actually in our upcoming book, we're going to put kind of a glossary of some pictures and signs in there as well to help kids with hearing learn some sign language as well. It's so nice to kind of open up that communication, make everyone feel more inclusive. How did you come to meet Colin and, and create him as the um, illustrator, because you illustrated the book and you're just 17. Yep. <laughs> How did that happen? So um, his sister, Becca Richter, has hearing loss. And, and we've had Becca here on our show yes. before. And she's, I didn't know she had hearing loss. Right. I don't know that it's very often um, mentioned, but she's a fabulous singer, songwriter. Yes. And she um, sang at one of my fundraisers. I used to be a president of a nonprofit for children with hearing loss. Mm -hmm. And so we became really good friends with their family. And when we were looking for an illustrator, I noticed some pictures and artwork that his family had done. And I said, hey, Colin, what do you think about doing illustrations? And he's just done a phenomenal job above and beyond. That's amazing. So these pictures that you created, Colin, what, how did you decide what the dog would look like, what the people would look like? Is this just a natural talent you've always had? Um, I like to draw since I was like really little, but like uh, we did the dog after uh, Dexter, which is her dog, and okay. um, cute. so yeah. <laughs> and um, Look at that cute picture. other characters, we kind of just put our ideas together and formed them. <laughs> I'm curious, does it does the do the words come first? Do you hand him the script and then he kind of gets inspired and then draws, or right. is it a, a complete collaborative effort? Um, I guess I was a little selfish. I wrote the whole story first, <laughs> and then in my mind, right, we I wanted it to be after our dog. My dog doesn't have hearing loss, but I adopted it from the Humane Society, and I just think they're a wonderful organization, so I wanted that to be included in the book. So then I handed it over to Colin and gave him some ideas, but he took them and ran with them far and above what I ever expected. When you talked a little bit about the fact that this book can be for those with hearing loss or without, and mm -hmm. it kind of teaches as well, what age category do you hope will read this, and, and who do you really want to pick up your book? That's a great question. I think children all the way through adults can read it. I have a lot of following from people who are dog lovers as well. Mm -hmm. um, I would say I would read it to early elementary school children, um, preschool children, but early middle elementary students can certainly read it alone. I was really specific with a lot of the word choices and language to bombard the kids with language so kids with hearing loss could not just call everything a dog, but there's specific names of different mm. dogs in the book too to teach them language. I How like long that. did it take from start to finish to do this whole process and especially get those pictures done? Um, about a couple months. Like We had a lot of meetings and collaborations and stuff. You know, for you, Colin, I think uh, you have this special connection as well, you know, with the fact that your sister, um, Becca, has hearing loss. Did that, um, how do you think that impacted you doing this book? And, you know, my, my mother also has hearing loss, so it's something that I think all of us who've experienced someone in our lives or someone who we care about or have been in touch with that has had hearing loss, we have a special place for that. Um, is that something that you kind of brought into this project? Actually, yes. I, we, I dedicated it for her because, um, you know, she has hearing loss. And, uh, yeah, it's hard sometimes because, like, you have to say things a little louder sometimes, but uh, it's they're just normal people. Right. <laughs> it, 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 is, it does affect a family because my father, like you mentioned, your mother, mm -hmm. my, my father had hearing loss and it got gradually worse. And it's amazing how you would see that he's getting cut off yes. from conversations and cut off from what's going on mm -hmm. until he got a heavy-duty hearing aid. 
you know, which was wow to him. Um, it really does make a difference. Mm -hmm. you know, when, when you have hearing loss, you, you, you tend to get cut out of the communication. Right, and that's one of the biggest issues is research. We knew about language and education, but the social issues, that's really showing up a lot in research, how kids feel so isolated or adults with hearing loss. So mm -hmm. we're hoping to fix that, help yes. that out a little. Don't speak slower, speak louder. <laughs> that's, what, yeah, that's what my mom always said. She's like, I can, I can go with the pace. I just need you to up the volume. Okay, I want to make sure everyone has your website so they can find your wonderful book. It's tooforeverfriends.com. The book is Forever Friends. Allison Schley is the author and Colin Richter, Richter, the illustrator. And they've been very kind to bring a book for us and CD for a lucky winner. Call 414-799-4444. Caller 5 will win.